hi guys welcome to simplifying tech so today we are going to check about what is cron job and how we can schedule it using spring boot so in your programming so you face the requirement where you have to schedule a certain kind of job which will which will be executed on particular time or at the particular interval of time so at that for that requirement uh, uh, like in general way we are using like uh, uh, auto stage job or we can use a log stage job or we can use it using the jill files and all that that kind of uh, uh, technologies we are using but we can use the spring boot in order to uh, schedule your cron jobs so we, we are going to check how we can use uh, this cron jobs in while uh, working with spring boot so cron jobs are used for scheduling tasks to run on the server they are most commonly used in automating the system maintenance and administration however uh, we are using for relevant web application development cron is a time based scheduler in the unix operating system and these are jobs tasks referred as a cron job so generally the server admin has been using cron job for a long time but the target audience will be uh, web developers and uh, like we, we will take one example suppose we have a membership site where accounts have expiration dates and you are scheduled the cron, cron job in order to deactivate or delete the account uh, for that are past their expiration dates so you can send out daily newsletters uh, via email so you can schedule the long running task to uh, to run from the command line rather than running that into the web script so like encoding videos and sending out the mass emails like that so for that uh, we are using cron expressions so cron expressions are generally defined in the asterisk format like uh, there are six asterisks we have to give and inside that there is a significance for each asterisk like uh, there is a uh, six asterisk like one is a second minute hour days of month month and days of the week so it is a seventh one actually and uh, these asterisk formats for uh, there are some examples suppose you have to run job at uh, 10 15 am every day so you in, in the these asterisks these middle asterisks we have to replace via uh, like uh, 10 this 10 is a time 10 o'clock and this is a minute okay and this these are 0 0 so it will run at 10 15 like this there are some examples and uh, we are going to check this uh, in, in into the eclipse we are going to uh, do the programming in the eclipse and check if that uh, how that executes the job so there are two ways for scheduling the task one is using a fixed delay and one is using cron expression so we are developing spring boot application via using spring boot application we are generating that uh, schedule so we are using enable scheduling uh, from the spring boot so for that let's go to spring website and create the sample project so go to spring.io so there uh, the template project will be created automatically so you have to go to spring boot by using spring initializer click on spring initializer so this will give you the template to create your project so i am creating my own project java then 2.3.3 and give the package name com dot simplifying dot tech and then spring cron shop okay this and java 8 version here you have to add dependency select web dependency click on ok click on generate project so this will download the project so go to your download directory so copy this go to your workspace directory paste it here extract it here Yeah, so it is extracted now go to eclipse so this is eclipse say import project import maven project existing maven project select the directory say finish 
So we have this pom.xml file. So we have got this web dependency automatically created. Now go to your package. So open this class file which is generated by Spring Initializer. And inside that here, yeah, so it is generated. So we have to write one annotation that is enable scheduling. Okay, say so control shift O in order to import your package. Yeah, so this package is imported. Now, just uh, I'm using this uh, class only to generate the expression. So, let's create one method which in which with name as a task. So, let's create this method task. and here we can use one annotation like at here we can use one annotation like scheduled and inside that we can give fixed delay equal to time in millisecond so that is a 3000 let's say control shift o Fixed delay, fixed delay, yes. So let's say, uh, let's give one sys out and write new date in order to print your current timestamp. Let's say control shift O. So I need util date. Yeah, so what I have done, so I have enabled at the rate, uh, enable scheduling. So that, that th this is the scheduler of Spring Boot. This annotation denotes the scheduler of Spring Boot. Then uh, at the rate scheduled, and I'm giving this fixed delay of 3000 milliseconds, that is a three seconds. Now uh, we can verify it. So I have printed this date. So we have, we can see the job will run after every three seconds. So save it, right click and say run as java application yeah so we can able to see job is running after every three seconds yeah so now we just we stop it so we can use one more expression that is a cron expression yeah so now another way of scheduling jobs via spring boot is a cron expressions so so how we can write the cron expression so the the idea is same just we have to use cron instead of scheduled or fixed delay and here in into the string format we we have to give the expressions via this asterisk format so like i mentioned these are six uh, six uh, asterisks so there is a meaning of six asterisks so, so this is second this is minute this is hour this is days of month this is month and this is days of week so uh, we we are keeping this as a same and uh, we are running this again so this this uh, we, without any expression means uh, it should run for every second so let's see yeah you can see uh, it is running every second so now what we can do so we can change the interval so here i am defining 0 by 2 that means it should run every 2 seconds so here i am saying as a... so now it should run after every 2 seconds yeah you can see it is running every two seconds so this is 30 32 right so now i will show you uh, how to run this job cron job for a particular interval yeah so now i will show you like for the particular interval of time so how we can execute this job so suppose for example so right now the time is 10 52 47 so uh, i will schedule this job for 10 54 Okay, now for that what we have to do 
we have to mention like here we have to mention 24 hours date format and here 54 and here question mark okay, let's say run Yeah, so uh, we have to define like this is second, this is minutes. So we have to define minutes here and hours here. So this is uh, so we have to schedule this for particular interval of time. So now let's see if it run for particular time. Yeah, you can see. So this run at this interval of time. So this way we can schedule this job for a particular period of time of the day. So you can schedule it for particular uh, uh, interval daily or weekly or things like that. So for that, so I'm giving you some reference material. So th these are two websites where you can able to generate uh, the cron expressions. So like uh, suppose you have to run job for every second every two seconds every three seconds so like suppose we have to generate uh, we have to execute this job for five seconds so here you can select this so it will give some these expressions now suppose you have to execute job per minute then this will be your expression then per hours suppose we have to run job per two hours then this this is the expression so so this you can use it in your cron expression also there is another website that cronmaker.com so where you can uh, generate this uh, suppose you have to write uh, you have to execute job per five minutes say generate so this this cron format will be resulted here so that we can use in your programming so this way we can able to uh, generate our cron expression and we can able to use it this cron expression via spring boot application by using this annotation enable scheduling and this scheduled cron cron expression so the details i have explained in my blog that is uh, simplifying tech and programming so this is a blog uh, this blog description i have added in video description so you can explore it uh, uh, as per link provided yeah so that's all for today thanks a lot